This is a story about courage and curiosity. Courage to step outside of your comfort zone and travel to a country very different from your own. And curiosity about how people live their lives in other places and spaces. I'm Ronnie, a nine-year expat, digital marketer, ESL teacher, five-star house sitter, and avid traveler. I'm interviewing my brother about his first experience traveling to Pattaya, Thailand. In this video, you'll learn about access to healthy food in Thailand versus the U.S., how you're treated as a black man in Thailand. Is Pattaya, Thailand safe? How's the weather there? Are people friendly? Is there a lot of petty crime in Thailand? What's the cost of flying from the U.S. to Thailand? What's the pace of life in Pattaya? And after visiting Thailand, would you want to travel more or less? If you plan on traveling to Thailand now or in the future, grab yourself a snack, sit back, relax, and get the information you need to know before you go. And if you've made the decision to leave the U.S. but feel overwhelmed and don't know where to start, download the Escape the States Beginner's Guide in the description of this video. This guide will help you take your first steps towards the journey to a better life. And if this video is helpful to you in any way and you're feeling the vibe, then subscribe and join the tribe. Now on to the interview. Let's go. All right, so what about your first meal here? Mm -hmm. What did you eat? And um, as far as the food, do you can you taste the difference? Do you notice the difference? And what's that difference? Mm. Oh, I'm a big foodie, big foodie. I came here to eat. Me too. So yeah. yes. There is um, definitely a difference. Um, when I first got here, I did want to play it kind of safe. So we went to a restaurant that was near, I guess it would be the mall area. Mm -hmm. um, so it's more established. It's not like a street vendor or anything like that. So we had something there and uh, it was really good. Very good and expensive. But very, very good. I think it was, the, um, I know I forget exactly what we had, but I do remember if it wasn't the first time, it was the second time where we had like a salmon, like salad type thing. Salmon. Salmon. <laughs> or salmon. Whichever one, salmon. Have, whichever one you feel comfortable with. It doesn't matter. That's the English teacher. That's the English teacher. Yes, salmon. There's an L there. Salmon. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I mean, but okay. So, so you had a great meal, but mm -hmm. as far as the fruits and vegetables and everything else, what's the difference between the food here and the food in the U.S.? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's um well it's here, real. Yeah. Here, well, here in, in um in Thailand there's a lot of seafood dishes. Yes. It's not like a lot of steaks and beef like, like it is in the US. They, they they offer way more variety of seafood dishes. I, I can tell that right off the bat. Spiciness. Mm -hmm. Very spicy. Yeah. Um, just about everything I had was very spicy. And that's when I asked for just a little bit of spice. And it was still spicy, but it wasn't their level of spicy. And there's um, also some things that I, as an American, can't eat. And it's good that we had some people come with us from time to time, tell us what's good and what's not. We took them out with us and told us like, hey, you know, you can't eat this. Um, you, I, would stay away. 
not just allergic to, it's just that, you know, we have different biomes in our gut. And if, you know, unless you want to stay on the toilet, you know, <laughs> then um, you better stay away from some certain things. That is, is pretty common here. Like what? But, uh, oh, you yeah. Know. Um, I think the one that we had recently was, it was like snails. Yeah. Okay, escargot. It wasn't escargot. It was just like the plate and there was snails yeah, in it. Yeah, okay. And they're just like, yeah, don't, they're not, not for US, not for US. <laughs> okay. Like, unless you want, you know, stomach problems. I'm like, nah, I don't want stomach problems. So you just go ahead and you have that. Yeah, I mean, if the people are telling you, hey, don't eat that, then. Uh, yeah. But, um, Okay, so what are the differences? Any other differences? Well, I mean, how do you feel now eating the food here versus like in the U.S.? Right? Because for me, I'm asking this question because in the U.S. and even in Australia, I don't feel good when I eat um, a lot of the food there. And uh, the reason is because, you know, a lot of the food is GMO. Okay, and my body can tell the difference. So me being here, eating vegetables and fruits here, my body already, and I've just been here a few days, already I feel a lot better. That's why I'm asking, you know, okay. man, how do you feel? Because I definitely feel a big difference. Yeah, it's a, um, there is a big difference. Big difference in price, big difference in like, feeling of, of, you know, after you eat, not really feeling heavy, but in the U.S. I'm very conscientious about what I eat. Normally it's a lot of chicken, um, seafood, like I just started being able to cook and make more seafood type dishes, shrimp, um, cod, um, not flounder, oh, that's a trash fish, but mostly cod. Sam salmon. 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 Yes. <laughs> and um and uh, I eat a lot of steaks. So and I eat like rice and broccoli, lots of greens, and you know, fruit and I can find it when it's in season. So a lot of um, the fruits that's not in season in the US is you know just available here. Lots of coconut. Mm -hmm. Um, lots of other different types of fruit here. I guess it's always in season, so uh, you're not gonna be able to, you know, not find food here. Right? The food, the food is plentiful. Right. That's one thing um, that's different in the U.S. Food is not plentiful and available in the U.S. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's McDonald's and Burger King and stuff like that. But that's not food. even here, it's crazy because the McDonald's and Burger King, they're empty. Like there's no one really goes in there except for you can tell like foreigners mm -hmm. or people who are, you know, just passing through. They're not really local people. Right. So yeah, I wanted to take a picture of that before I go because I'm just like, wow. All, empty. All, yeah. Empty. Yeah, people know. So yeah, I'm just like, okay. And, and but even in the US, we still go there a lot because that's what's available. Um, it's kind of sad now I think about it. Mm -hmm. And see, there's so much sickness, phys physical and mental illness. And, you know, I say it all starts um, on your plate. And so when you're living in these countries where you don't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables like you should, like we're human beings, we should have access to all of that. And it makes such a big difference. It's like, now you see, it's like, you, we can go down the street and bam, buy some fruit, mm -hmm. buy vegetables, buy whatever. And it's affordable mm -hmm. and it's good for you. And it tastes fantastic. I haven't had one bad dish yet. Yeah, so. that, that's true. I haven't had one bad dish. Uh, and I've been trying, um, since I'm here in Thailand, trying all the Thai dishes. Um, the my favorite so far they're all good my favorite is the um i guess it would be a spicy shrimp soup and they bring it out to you in the not a bowl but like this container and like 
Oh, I, ha I have that and the shrimp and, and the coconut that's cooked in there. It's delicious. And um, yeah, they, I mean, spicy, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but very, very delicious. Okay, very good. So, um, so how do the people here treat you? Uh oh, <laughs> how are you treated here? Okay, you okay. I'm I'm on basically on Walking Street. If you don't know what that is, it's a very busy um, area where there's a lot of people selling a lot of things, food, um, all kinds Just of whatever you want. Yeah, whatever yeah. you want, you can find there. But you know, everyone is like trying to you know they're, they're hustling. Getting they're, they're, hustle on. Yeah, they're getting that hustle on. So that everyone is like waving, like, hey, you come here, come here, buy this, buy that, mm -hmm. come here. So every every time I go, it's just like everyone is waving at me, can I come here and buy something? For I've been here for two weeks. There's a guy who's been trying to sell me a suit in 90 degree weather. <laughs> yeah, that's how they get done. I'm like, I don't know, either this is working for you or you crazy. So mm -hmm. it is 90 something degrees. And yeah. here you are trying to sell me a three-piece suit. <laughs> and he's wearing a three-piece suit. I'm like, I know you hot. Yeah, just sweating and selling. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crazy. I've seen some people like with sweaters on and like with hoodies on and it's, and I'm melting. Mm -hmm. Like I just melt everywhere. You know, it's like I take, I walk for about 10 minutes and then I'm melting and I don't stop melting and then I'm breathing in hot air and, mm -hmm. and I'm just going through it. So yeah, I mean, I already know that Thailand, I wouldn't like that. I'm not the type of person that likes heat at all. I like temperate weather. I like 70s, 60s, 50s, 80s, but that's it. But, um, you know, I'm glad I'm here, you know. Um, one big thing, we haven't seen each other face to face in nine years. Nine years. So it's been that long. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely time. But all right, so so people are always selling. Yes. But um, how else? You know, because I know this is a big hustle culture. But yes. do you feel respected? Do you feel safe? You know. Oh yeah, um, completely safe. No, yeah. Um, I I could definitely just walk around without any issues. No one, and I really don't know, even know how they do it, other than like. Um, yeah, I don't know how they do it, but everyone is like, there's products all over. I mean, no one's just snatching and running. I'm like, but you could, but people don't. Yeah. In the U.S., like for our, yeah, and in, in the U.S., if anyone has anything to sell, it's behind something that would stop you from just grabbing it and taking it. So to see someone just have all this stuff out, all this merchandise out, just there for the taking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But maybe that's the U.S. way of looking at things. Yeah, I guess, you know, the government here is, they don't play that. I, I'm assuming they don't play that. Because nobody's out playing games. Yeah. I, 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 like, again, I don't know how they do it. Maybe they just kind of police their own or... Oh, no, I didn't look into that. That's something I'll look into. You know? Yeah. Look into that. But, okay, so you feel completely safe. Completely. And um, I guess what is... Um, so, you know, on a scale from 1 to 10. From 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. How would you rate your experience in Thailand? Oh, and why? It was, it was a, definitely a 10. Definitely want to come back here. Definitely want to do more. I was able to do a lot. I was able to eat a lot. Um, but there's more, there's so much to do here. I was able to go to the floating market yesterday. I went to the Big Buddha Temple. Um, I went to a few other cultural events. There was a holiday here. And um, when there was a few things going on, going around. But, um, took a few pictures. Definitely have like um, a lot of memories, but I still want to see like things in Bangkok. Um, still want to see a Muay Thai uh, match and a bunch of, there's so much to do here. I mean, two weeks, 
isn't enough to, nope. to, to get everything down. Like the first few days I was just feeling my way around, you know, you know, seeing what's here, what's there, and you know, you know, trying not to get lost. Mm -hmm. Wandering, but not getting too lost. So but yeah, definitely want to come back. Definitely want to do more. Definitely want to see more, um, go a little more um, landmarks, um, historical spots like the uh, Sanctuary of Truth. I'm going to do that next time I come by. So I'll definitely do that. But yeah, as far as the people. And they're like beyond the, the hustle culture, they are very nice. Um, welcoming people will come to you. I mean, I don't know how you can just not interact with people. But they're gonna come to you. And then they'll tell you, you know, come here and you know, do you what you want what are you trying to do? You trying to get something to eat, you trying to get something to drink. If you want something to eat, go here. If you want something to drink, go there. If you want a good cocktail, go here. Or you want you want to, you know, come here, come here, see this, see that. They'll tell you. I mean, then that's what we did. We found some local people. Well, they found us, and they, you know, pointed us in different directions. And we went there. It was a, it was a great time. Definitely different from the U.S. People wouldn't just see a foreigner and if, you know come tell them like, hey, mm -hmm. this is where you need to go. This right. is what you can do. Even myself, I wouldn't do it. Not only that, but um, you know, there might be a language barrier. There might be other type of, you know, cultural differences. And uh, you know, I got my own stuff to, to do. But here, oh, the um, it's a very slow down. Um, pace. Yes, yeah. yes. The pace uh -huh. is, is much more slow down because during the day, not not much happens because it's, it's hot and there's not much going on. If anything, people are just preparing for night for the nighttime. I think and the locals, you know, the locals are working, but I mean, like people who are visiting. Yeah. For the most part, there's people that are sleeping out. I know, yeah, a lot of people <laughs> um, that sleep. Yeah. Again, I was, yeah, yeah. I was near the beach area, so yeah. it was very beach culture, like mm -hmm. if, if it's, you know, early, people just snoozing. They got, you know, they're in their chairs, they're, you know, got the fan going on, they got their hat, and just, and that's, I call it a, call it a wrap, you know. So, what are your thoughts now that you've visited Thailand? Mm -hmm. Do you want to visit more countries? And now, do you have that spark in you to start traveling? How do you feel about that? I definitely do want to travel more. I am more interested in it now. I definitely want to do it more. Still a little wary about where to go and how to deal with customs in the U.S. I really don't know about the, the way, US. yeah, about the way it is going back because I haven't really done it. But when I came here from the U.S., it was, customs was crazy. But after I did that, everything was pretty much cool. They saw your passport and it was like, "All right, that's you." All right, moving on. But um, I definitely want to come back. Um, the price is still expensive. Plane rides are not cheap. Uh, I think that's the only barrier. Yeah, how much did it cost around? Um, the, the, we, the way we had to do it was we bought two one-way flights. Yeah. So going there, going here, or coming here, mm -hmm. it was altogether nine hundred dollars going back was um altogether about one thousand one hundred and that was because i could get a cheaper flight but it would have been longer so i would rather not have a 15 hour layover in chicago <laughs> so i spent the okay. extra money yeah. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Even going coming here, coming here, I could have spent like one thousand one hundred leaving from Richmond. But instead I took the train, went to JFK, had to wait like 
for almost like six, six, seven hours. Mm -hmm. That's where I actually got on my flight. So it really depends. You I mean you can get it to for cheap, but you're gonna be paying in, you know, time. Either in the air or going bouncing around different places. So again, the the price, um, at this point I'm just willing to pay it. I mean the cheap flights, they're cheap for a reason, <laughs> and you'll you'll pay in another way. Okay. So that's fabulous. So I mean, I guess we'll sign out, and um, like we'll have another conversation once you are back in the U.S. And I want to hear about your plane ride there. Okay. All right. So that's it. Um, so Stephen had a fabulous time traveling, his first time overseas. So make sure that you give us a like. If you like what you see and you're feeling the vibe, then subscribe and join the tribe. So um, thank you for watching. And until next time, see you later. Peace.